Hey everybody, this is Dave with Broke Box Breakers. Thank you for checking out our channel. Let's have some fun today. Today's video is going to feature one of the sharpest looking sets that Panini has to offer this year. 2023 Obsidian First Off Line Hobby Box. Demand for this box was through the roof, not gonna lie to you, but unfortunately so was the price. A little bit over $700 for just seven cards. This is definitely a boom or bust. If you're afraid of risk, stay away from this guy. Very, very risky business. Now, good hit ratio out of the seven cards. You're gonna get two autos, two mems, one insert, and only two bases. This isn't a big inventory builder box where you're gonna get a bunch of throwaway cards. Truly, it is a boom or bust situation. Some of the fan favorites from this box, of course, the iconic short prints, your color blast, which is going to be very similar to the prism color blast, but this will be a black version. You also have your virtuous volcanic die cuts and a few of the rookies that you could hit, rookie jersey autos and rookie jersey inks. Ladies and gentlemen, what kind of night is this going to be? We've had three boxes in a row since Brady blew up the internet with that Spectra box that have been kind of duds for us. Filled with gloom and doom, it's over. It's time to turn things around. Big dreams, big hits. Let's get after it, guys. Let's go, Dave. Big hit, Dave. Let's do it. Get you guys a good look at the box. Get you guys, if you want to take a screenshot there, look at the back. And we're starting to build a community here. Close to 900 subscribers, it's very overwhelming. And drop us a comment. I know a lot of you guys are collectors, you've been in this for many, many years. What's your favorite card? What card holds the most sentimental value to you? I'll go ahead and go real quickly here. This might be my good luck charm. You probably didn't anticipate John Kitna would be my favorite. <laughs> when I was in sixth grade, I sent this in a plain white envelope to John Kitna, and he sent it back. I've been a lifelong fan of the Cincinnati Bengals ever since. Not the biggest monetary card by any means, but definitely a ton of sentimental value. And if you don't mind, drop a comment. We'd love to hear your story. You know, tell us how you got into cards, and let's keep this community growing. All right, guys, only one pack. That's a thick pack, look at that. Very pack. thick. And you get two mems out of here. So you have to think that would be the cause of the bulkiness of this pack. All right, right off the rip. Parker Washington from Penn State. Let's go ahead and get a filler card in here. Parker Washington from Penn State. Second round pick. Purple, so that should be numbered. Out of five. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Five? Right off the rip. Two out of five. Parker Washington. Definitely going to get this guy sleeved. And that might be a grade-worthy card, especially being a rookie there. Card number two. Najee Harris with the purple. Out of 13. Very nice super short prints right off the rip. Gotta love that. Najee Harris. And the purple. All right, what does card number three have for us? Alexander Madison. So that would be the, not a rookie material. That would be out of 199. Of course, not from any specific game or event. Standard practice with Panini these days. But you get a good look at the pattern and this is a very sharp background on this card. The colors really pop out at you. And very good looking card. Set this here for sure. All right. Quentin Johnston from TCU. 
disappointing rookie year. But a lot of hope for him going forward, especially in that offense. Out of 199. Every card's been numbered so far. Definitely a nice bonus. Be the sharpened insert. Okay. Jameer Gibbs. Okay. Out of 49. Another sharpened. And you have a tricolored patch. Looks like you got a little bit of swatch of the number there. The Lions are a team on the rise. As a Bengals fan, I would love to see you in the Super Bowl next year. Two fan bases that have been through it. Some of my Lake Erie bros up there. There you go. All right, guys. Looks like we might have got... Okay. We might have got a bonus card. We'll pull from the back here. Kenny Pickett, the newest Philadelphia Eagle. Orbital Obsidian out of 65. Number 18 out of 65. His rookie year led the team to a 6-1 and one stretch towards the end of the year. A little bit surprised they gave up on him so early. A little bit disappointed as a Bengals fan that Russell Wilson and Justin Fields are now in our division as well. We have enough mobile quarterbacks in the AFC North. We don't need any more. Zay Flowers, rookie Pat Shotto. What do you say, Brady? I don't think we pulled one. <laughs> wow. We have had some incredible pulls of his. So that would be the rookie jersey, Inc., and you think of all the rookies you could pull from this. Say Flowers is one of the better names you could definitely pull there. Especially with an auto. Absolutely. Clean auto. It is a sticker. And nice dual patch there. 30 out of 30. Last card like this ever made. Very, very cool. That'd be the hit so far, Braid. What do you think? I'd agree with you. Don't have any last pack magic tonight, but maybe last card magic. All right. Go ahead and flip it over. Three, two, one. Tanner McKee. I want to say played college football at Stanford. That is another rookie jersey ink dual patch. And let's see what the number is out of there. Out of 75. Was every single card numbered in the set? Every single one was numbered. Okay, that is an advantage. Over $100, well, we got eight cards, so a little bit under $100 a card. You at least hope you get some value on short prints. And we definitely did. Let's bring the big hits back into the mix here. Kenny Pickett Obsidian, black, Najee Harris purple. Zay Flowers, that was the hit, no doubt about it. Rookie Patch Auto, unbelievable rookie year coming out of Boston College. And the Ravens, that's a team that scares me as a Bengals fan, especially adding Derrick Henry to the mix. Mm. Don't lose sight of this Jameer Gibbs also. Very nice card. You had the Alexander Madison. And Quentin Johnson. High hopes for him going forward. Let's bring our Stanford grad into the mix. Tanner McKee, rookie, Jersey Inc. These are great looking cards. They really are a sharp set and they get that reputation for a reason. The cards appear to be in good quality too. What do you think, Brady? From what I could see. Absolutely. All right. Fun box to open, not very many cards to open, but definitely a thrill when you open something that expensive. I will give this personal product a, a six and a half out of 10 with the Obsidian. The price point just seems to be a little bit high to me. I love the design of the cards. And if you're pulling a card like this of CJ Stroud, Adam's on vacation, but he could probably hear us screaming from here <laughs> with how excited we'd be. So definitely a 
potential for some big hits with this product. Be on the lookout for the hobby going on sale here on the 27th. And this is the first off the line, so glad we could bring that to you. Please let us know what you think of the comments. If you don't mind hitting that bell, subscribe, like, comment. It really helps keep us going. Happy box breaking and pack ripping to each of you. We'll catch you next time.